Sairam, people often wonder what form of divinity is Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Baba, our dear Swami. Is he the Shiva Shakti Swarupa, as he himself declared during that epochal Guru Purnima festival in 1963? You know, that story is at this link above. Or is he Lord Ganesha? as he gave darshan in that beautiful form, in a golden form of Ganesha to Swami Amritananda. In case you have not heard that story or viewed it, that is available at this link above. Or is Swami Sai Krishna? Or is he Lord Rama? Is he just Shiva or is he the mother? Or is he Lord Mahavishnu, the Jyotir Padmanabha, in which form he gave darshan to Swami Purushottamananda at Vashishta Gufa? Now, that is another magnificent episode which is recorded at this link above. So you see, people have wondered which form of Godhead or Divinity Swami is and there are many many stories. In my opinion, in my heart, I believe that Swami Sarva Devata Tita Swarupa. He is all forms of divinity and even beyond. Because God, as we call, is the same power. That God comes with different names and different forms. And that God is worshipped in different ways in different religions. But it is the same power. I will say, Swami is Rama and Krishna. Whereas a devotee of Krishna will tell that Krishna is only Swami, Krishna is only Balaji. That's all is the difference. Well, here is a beautiful episode that I read in Howard Murphett's popular book, Sai Baba Man of Miracles, in which Swami beautifully and in a very, very mischievous way indicated that he is Lord Kartikeya, Lord Muruga or Lord Subramanya as he is known by those different names. And this is an experience of Mrs. K. R. K. Bhatt, the wife of, of course, Mr. K. R. K. Bhatt, who was a divisional manager in the Life Insurance Corporation of India. The LIC is India's largest insurance company and he was a divisional manager there. And Howard Murphett's tryst with the Bhatts happened in the interview room. It was a day that is special for Lord Subramanya and Swami had called this elderly couple in for an interview along with Howard Murphett and his wife Iris. And during the course of that interview, Mrs. Bhatt offered Swami a bouquet of flowers with tulsi leaves because that is a nice offering to be made to Lord Subramanya or Lord Kartikeya. Swami took a few flowers and the leaves from that bouquet and planted it in Mrs. Bhatt's hair. You know, women wear it in India as a decoration and as a mark of respect. After that, when Swami went up, you know, he went up to his room, to his dining hall there, he was going to fetch some vibhuti packets to give it to all these people. So he went to the adjacent room and went up the winding staircase that is there. At that time, all of them were waiting and it was Iris, Howard Murphett's wife, who noticed that on Mr. Bhatt's left shoulder, there was something that has fallen. And this was possibly flakes from the ceiling because the ceiling was flaking and it was falling. But after a while, the ceiling was no longer flaky. The entire room is very, very austere. There's nothing on the walls. The windows were closed. The door was closed. And yet, on the shoulder of Mr. Bhatt, left shoulder, were petals of flowers and tulsi leaves. And Howard Murphett records in his book that he had no idea where they came from. But the Bhats considered it as a grace of their Sai Subramanya. And incidentally, that was the time when Mr. Bhatt was having some kind of heart problems and the left side of his chest was aching. After those petals and leaves, the pain was miraculously gone and it never recurred. That was how Howard Murphett got introduced to the Bhats and later on 
he captured the story of how Mrs. Bhatt got convinced that Swami is indeed Subramanya. Her story, as I said, is so beautiful and uplifting. In 1943, Mrs. Bhatt was diagnosed with uterine cancer and it had grown to such a stage that the surgeons and doctors recommended the removal of the uterus. However, they could not promise a complete cure or recovery even after this surgery. It was a chance that they had to take, they said. Naturally, the butts were worried. They were a newly married couple and they were wondering what they should do. That is when Mrs. Bhatt's mother-in-law, that is Mr. Bhatt's mother, who was widowed by then, came and told them that, listen, my husband, you know, your father-in-law, he too suffered from cancer, but he was cured by our family deity, Lord Subramanya. I suggest that we all pray to Lord Subramanya and worship him, and he will definitely cure your cancer. And so, Mrs. Bhatt, for whom also Lord Subramanya was the family deity. You know, in India, it is tradition that different families have different family deities. For me, of course, now it is Bhagwan Sri Sati Sai Baba. But before that, for my ancestors, it was Balaji or Lord Venkateshwara, who is on the Biligiri Rangana Betta or BR Hills that comes close to Bangalore. That was the family deity. Of course, now it is Bhagwan Sri Sati Sai Baba. So for Mrs. Bhatt, the family deity was Lord Subramanya, Kartikeya, and she began to worship uh, him and do special pujas throughout, sincerely with all devotion, with the prayer that her cancer be cured. However, as a few months passed, three, four months, she began to get weaker and weaker, and she was bedridden. And the mother-in-law now took upon this responsibility of doing all the worship and pujas for Subramanya. This went on six months. One night, as Mrs. Bhatt was asleep, she had a vision or a dream, something in between, where she saw that there was a big cobra going around the room where she and her mother-in-law were sleeping. Her husband was out on business and therefore uh, she was scared seeing this big cobra and she quickly woke up her mother-in-law. The lights were turned on. No snake was there to be found. So the mother-in-law told her to just relax and go back to sleep, take rest. Because she had become so weak with the cancer now. Again when she slept, again she sees this huge cobra. And now before she can wake up her mother-in-law, that cobra transforms into Lord Kartikeya. And Subramanya is now above her. He is holding his Vela Yudha, that spear. And she is gazing at him, folding her hands. Now with his spear, he pokes her into the chest region and draws her towards him. Now as she goes towards him, the next moment she is on top of a rocky mountain. Along with Lord Subramanya, Lord Kartikeya, Shanmukha, Muruga in front of her. She falls at his feet, touches his feet with her hand and her forehead takes Namaskar. And when she rises, Lord Subramanya asks her, Would you want to come to me or go back to the world? She understands that this is a question where he is asking whether she is ready to die or go back to her life. Thinking of her husband and her young children, she tells Subramanya, I need to go back. I want to live. Subramanya then smiles at her, blesses her and says, You will start getting stronger now because you are healed. Go back and remember, I am there always in you, with you, above you, around you. Whenever you need me, I will be there for you. And then he tells her to return. She asks, how do I return? Now, Lord Subramanya looks at the floor which opens up and there is a spiral staircase that is leading her down. So Mrs. Bhatt gets down those stairs of the spiral staircase and the next moment she is in her bed and she wakes up. And she wakes up her mother-in-law, tells her this entire dream vision of what happened. 
the mother in law is very thrilled the next day the husband is back and she tells her husband also and needless to say from that day her recovery began she began to gain strength vitality energy and she was back to full pink of health this was the way she led her life for not years but decades two decades later in the 1960s that is when the bhats first heard about bhagwan shri sati sai baba so they traveled to prashant nilayam and they were called in for an interview and in that interview swami looks at mrs bhatt and says ah i met you 20 years back i have spoken to you she said no swami this is my first time that i am seeing you and coming to you no no you met me and you have spoken to me when you were living in mysore and then swami goes on to give her exact address the street name the house he was living in and mrs bhatt's mind goes back to those days in mysore when she was suffering from uterine cancer and then swami smiles at her and tells come with me he takes her up to his dining room area and as they climb up the staircase swami says look down and then it is a moment of goose flesh and goose bumps for mrs bhatt because as she looks down it is the very same spiral staircase which lord subramanya had opened up with his foot and told her to descend to earth that instant she falls at swami's feet and she realizes that this is indeed her lord subramanya who is giving her a darshan again after two decades they descend down the steps and mrs bhatt who later narrated this to mr bhatt both became devotees of bhagwan shri satya sai baba they spent their last years also in puttaparthi and it was during one of those interviews that swami had given the bhats that howard murfet got introduced to them dear brothers and sisters as i research more and more i am seeing and i am getting to know that swami has given darshan to so many people in so many forms of god in fact uh, we have the story where he gave darshan as lord jesus to a christian devotee mr sinclair that is present at this link above in case you have not watched it well he has also given proof that he is lord dattatreya datta guru datta guru dattatreya guru and that happened in the forests and that story has been recorded at this link above so he is indeed sarva devata tita swarupa because god is one swami would say prem ishwar hai ishwar prem hai meaning god is love and love is love. that power which we call god or love manifests as per our desire and as per our preferences in different forms and different names so dear brothers and sisters irrespective of which name and form of divinity we believe in or would like to cherish in our heart it is important to treasure that love and that is why dear swami every time i conclude i conclude with the same prayer that may the love that we have for you in our hearts keep growing stronger every passing moment thank you jai sai ram